Welcome to the Upper Potomac Concerts. For over 30 years, the Upper Potomac Music Weekends have brought some of the finest traditional musicians to Shepherdstown for workshops, classes, concerts, and more. This year, our programs in 2022 are entirely virtual with Zoom workshops and YouTube concerts. You can find out more about our programs on the Upper Potomac Music Weekends website at upperpotomacmusic.info. Though we've made this concert free for you to listen to, donations to support the concerts are greatly appreciated and help us continue this work. They can be made via PayPal to upperpotomac at gmail.com. Thank you. If you would like to contribute to an individual musician, you will probably find their donation information on the concert chat. Meanwhile, enjoy the concert. Hi, Lisa Ornstein here out in Olympia, Washington. Happy to be with you this evening. And um, I'm going to be sharing some old time tunes, um, three old ones and two new ones. And I'm going to start out with a couple of tunes for the wintry season. Now, the first of them is um, Hail Against the Barn Door. And this is a West Virginia tune. It's from Alexander Columbus Hawkenberry, who was known as Lum Hawkenberry from Marion County. And the second tune is also a West Virginia tune. It's Sherman Hammonds's Christmas Morning. There's a lot of Christmas morning tunes in Appalachian tradition. And um, this one is different than um, Sherman's friend, Lee Hammonds is. Uh, Sherman Hammonds was an accomplished fiddle player and also a ballad singer and a banjo player as well. And I had the good fortune to meet him when I was in my early teens. And um, I was hanging around with a group of folks who were about 10 years older than I am. And um, they took me to some festivals, including Marlington, that's where I met Sherman and was eventually fortunate enough, Dwight Biller took me up to meet um, Maggie and Burl Hammond at their home. So here we go with Hail Against the Barn Door and Christmas Morning.
Okie doke. All right, so um, the next tune is a North Carolina tune. And it's from um, Marcus Martin, a great North Carolina fiddle player, who was also an accomplished banjo player and harmonica player and a ballad singer and played the dulcimers. So this guy was just crazy talented um, from Macon County. And um, this is my take on a tune he played called Polly Put the Kettle On, only this is not the cheerful Polly put the kettle on Molly below the dinner horn. No, I don't know what was in the tea. Pretty dark stuff, uh, whatever it was. I just really am fond of this tune. <laughs> so here we go. A new tune, relatively speaking. It's one of mine. And um, this is a tune I made up within the last two years. I made it up in honor of uh, an old time tune session um, that is part of a camp up in Starksboro, Vermont called Northern Heritage Music Camp. And uh, the focus in that camp is mostly on northern traditions, but there's always a hellacious old time session held in the kitchen 
Um, this is a retreat center, a small retreat center that has a dining hall connected to a really tiny kitchen. There's just enough room for the stainless steel prep tables and the pots and pans and dishes and cutlery and a big whacking Hobart machine um, to do all the dishes and pots and pans. Um, and uh, there's always a wild um, old time session there. And uh, I think it was not this past year, but maybe the year before it was first year of COVID and we were doing what we're doing tonight here, which is being together, but safe and online. And I was really missing that session. And so I made up a tune in honor of it. And it is called Shove That Dish Rack a Little Deeper into the Hobart. So here we go. close out here with one more tune again this is one of my own tunes and I made this up in the last year in tribute to and in memory of David Kainer uh, who as Pete Sutherland said by eschewing uh, any kind of showmanship really made himself um, became celebrated and um, his memory is such a blessing for so many of us. And I remember Rachel Weiss organizing um, a part of the tune raiser for David um, the last time that I was at uh, Upper Potomac um, Festival, which in person, which was in, um, in 2020. And um, and we got captured some of the magic moments of the festival on um, film, playing some of David's favorite tunes and I believe some of his compositions. Um, and uh, so I made up a tune um, in honor of David, um, and it's called "A Heart Full of Harmony." Um, David loved harmonizing. He made a beautiful melodies, oftentimes with second and third parts. And um, so I tried to capture a little bit of that in this tune. So here we go.
Hi everyone! I'm really happy to be here at the Upper Potomac Fiddle Retreat and making some music for you uh, via internet. Virtual music uh, has kept us all together during these last couple years and I never get tired of playing music um, for myself or for you all. So I'm going to start off with a little bit of a uh, tune that I learned recently in the pandemic. Um, it's called Cowhide Boots. It's a Lyman in low tune in the key of G. So that's one I've been playing a bunch uh, and enjoying here lately and um, I guess because it's a short set and I am a multi-instrumentalist um, I know it's a fiddle retreat but I'm just gonna switch some instruments around and um, sing a couple songs and I'll come back to the fiddle at the end of my set one of the one of the things that I always uh, think of when I remember my good times I've had in Shepherdstown during the fiddle retreat um, is the, the cold, cold weather, which I'm sure if you've been there before you also recall. Uh, so I'm going to sing Chilly Winds. It's actually a song about going where the chilly winds don't blow, but um, in true spirit here where I live in Alexandria, Virginia, we just got dumped a whole bunch of snow in our front yards this week. So this song also seems fitting for that. Feel free to sing along. Oh, 
That was fun. All right. I, uh, thank you. Hope you enjoyed that. I'm trying to do a one take uh, concert video here. I've definitely got stuck in the rut of being like, oh, I could do it better. I could do it better. And, and it takes sort of the live um, fun energy out of it. So full disclosure, this is a one take. Uh, if it goes awry, I'm still going to submit it. Um, hopefully it's so far we're, we're still on the tracks. Uh, I'm going to do a song that I, I sang a lot before the pandemic um, as everyone were getting ready for work and school in the mornings um, I would sing that it's a John Hartford song uh, called Tall Buildings and um, sometimes it would make people cry in my house so I had to kind of stop singing it a little bit um, but I've been singing it again here just the last couple days realizing that it's something that hasn't happened in so long because we've all been working from home and uh, my partner's working from home and kids are back in school and that's really great but we don't leave to catch the subway to go work in tall buildings and um, it's one of the sort of you know the silver linings in in the clouds is that I've had so much more time with my uh, my partner and kids during these last couple years it's been really sweet um, so I think it's it's safe maybe to sing this song and hopefully not make anyone cry it's not my intention but it's a beautiful song uh, and I find it really moving and I hope you do too I do love. Um, all right, I'm gonna just do another little rotation back. Um, even though it's virtual, it sure is nice to see folks um, on my computer and, and know that we're all still, you know, out here waiting to get together at a festival and, and play some tunes. Um, and I'm glad, you know, that folks are still coming to weekend retreats like this because, you know, even if we can't get together and practice together, we can still learn and um, improve our own playing skills and I've definitely tried to take advantage of that as best I can. Um, I've learned some new tunes so I'm going to play another fiddle tune here that I, uh, I've learned more recently. Um, and I've you know actually taken the the time these last couple years to learn things that are not, are not music 
uh, but I've practiced them just the same as if I were learning to play the fiddle. So um, I hope you all have some good practice time and uh, a peaceful winter and that next year or sooner than that, goodness gracious, maybe by the summer our paths will cross in person and get to play a couple tunes. Um, I'm teaching lessons in the meantime. I'm just sitting here in my basement uh, trying to help folks play music and that's what I'm doing. So hit me up for a lesson or two if you want and I'd be happy to, to help anyone along their musical journey that I possibly could. Uh, I'm going to play uh, for my last number. This is Blackjack Groove and it's just been sort of my earworm um, the last couple months has been probably my favorite tune to, to play. It's a cross tune, A tune. Um, it's kind of a modal tune really, but I, I think I've been working it out in cross tune. So thanks for listening. Thanks for joining the weekend. Thanks to Joni for having me and um, Happy New Year. Thanks again, and I uh, hope to see you all soon.